All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we dry hopped our beer and we put it back in the closet for another week. Now, our IPA is finally done. It's either time to bottle or keg. And I'll be kegging in this video, but if you plan on bottling it, click on this link right here. So what do we need? Well, we need a five gallon ball lock corny keg. I prefer ball locks over pin locks. Easiest way to distinguish ball lock from pin locks is the post. See, the pin lock has those barbs sticking out. We're gonna be using a CO2 tank. I have a 20 pound tank. Uh, I recommend using at least anything bigger than a 10 pound tank so it's good for a bunch of caked beers. I'll connect my CO2 tank to a dual gauge regulator. The gauge on the left shows you how much gas is in your CO2 tank. The gauge above lets you know how much gas is going into your beer. I recommend buying about four to five feet of CO2 tubing. It could be either red or blue. I always have some hose clamps floating around to tighten my CO2 tube. Ball lock disconnectors, one gas in, one liquid out. Usually the gas in will say in on it. Uh, it's usually either red or white, and the liquid out should say out on it. It's either uh, black or blue. You can always look into the keg and see which side the beer comes out of because it's connected to the stem that goes all the way down to the bottom. And most importantly, a tap handle. As you can see, it's connected to our liquid out disconnector. Okay, so let's get into it. So you see I've got my beer up top right here, my CO2 tank to the left, my clean keg I just cleaned with hot water and OxyClean, and my bucket of sanitizer with star sand and vinyl hosing ready to go. So let's go ahead and pour a gallon or two of star sand into our keg. Let's cap the lid, shake it up for about a minute or two, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour our sanitizer back into the bucket. Now let's get our sanitized siphon in our beer and our beer into our keg. Try to avoid any splashing. Make sure your hose is long enough so that the beer is gently coming out right at the bottom of the keg. Don't just pour your beer into the keg. That'll create a ton of oxygen. Great looking color on that. When you get all of the beer in your keg, seal the lid and run some CO2 through the end and purge it a couple times to get all the oxygen out of the headspace. Clip the connector on, turn the CO2 tank. I want this style of beer to have about 10 to 12 PSIs. So I'm gonna go ahead and purge it two or three times. Throw it in the fridge, snap on the disconnector to the liquid out, and just make sure the tap is pushed back because yes, if it's forward, beer will start to come out. And that's it guys, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you to all who watched this series. I think I'm gonna be doing a double IPA in the next couple of weeks. If you guys have any styles of beers you want me to check out, please post them in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching guys, CH out.